Hi my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with foil and I have here the May Glimmer Hot Foil Kit. It comes with this pattern of circles. You will also get a bunch of tiny circles that fit inside the bigger ones. You can cut them out and you will also get three different sayings that you can put together along with two dies that cut out your sentiments. So I'm going to start with the main glimmer plate and I'm going to use the gold foil that comes in the kit. I have here a white panel. If you want you can use this multiple times to cover up completely your whole panel vertically or horizontally or you can just use it as a border once. For my design today I'm not going to cover up the whole panel completely so I'm starting from the center, about the center, then I'm going to use some low tack tape to create a hinge. I cannot recommend this technique uh, enough by using the hinges. I learned this from Janas Makula and she has amazing tips about foiling and I keep on using it again and again. It is a really foolproof technique. It makes sure that nothing is going to move on you in the process of foiling. I am using my handy foil trimmer to cut out the pieces that I need and I will place the foil underneath my plate. My Glimmer Hot Foil machine is already warm so I'm going to place that on top. Then I am going to run the plate a couple of times through my die cutting machine and here is the result. I'm going to repeat the same process one more time on one side of the panel to repeat the pattern and of course you have to do it a third time if you want to cover it up completely. And here is what I have up to now. This is already looking beautiful with all that foiling on top. But for putting my card together I did a bit of die cutting. I cut out loads of circles out of this uh, pink cardstock. And the main idea of this kit is to have all those circles and place them on top of the pattern. Now you can place them at the center or a little bit offset. You can play with um, different colors, create patterns vertically or horizontally. You can also place them down randomly, many different ways to play with color. Now I am going to add some extra pieces. I did cut out some flowers and some leaves. The flowers come from my spring birdhouse set and the leaves are from my birds die set. So I have a piece of this uh, cardstock that um, I used to cut out the circles and I want to chop off a part of this panel so that I have that color peeking through from one side. I'm going to stick it underneath and of course I'm using the grid on my glass mat to make sure that this is nice and straight and I'm also using the rest of the piece that I cut out just to make sure that I have the right measurements. There are many sentiment uh, plates included in the Glimmer set this month and I did use one of them that says paper hugs. You can also have a complete phrase that says sending paper hugs your way I believe However, I'm just going to use one of the phrases here and then randomly I picked up a few of the circles from the pattern so that I can stick on top the confetti, the pink confetti that I cut out. And again, there are so many different variations. You can go rainbow order with your confetti. You can go monochromatic like I'm doing here and completely randomly. You can use pattern paper to cut out the confetti so you will end up with lovely designs and you can even go with the same color in different shades so you can have an ombre look. Now as it is it would make a great card however I'm going to spice it up a bit since I cannot stay away from my own from the dice from my own collection and uh, I am going to use a couple of leaves as well as a tiny little flower and I'm going to stick it kind of offset on top of three of those dots. I also didn't want the leaves to stick out too much, that's why I cut out about uh, one third of them. Here is how my panel is looking at the moment, I'm absolutely happy with the result. That foiling always gives that a touch of elegance and I think that this is a great card for spring and it is quite versatile since you can use it pretty much for any occasion. I did finish it off by adding golden crystal gems at the center of the tiny little flowers. And these are self-adhesive, however, just to be safe, I did add a dot of glue at the center of all those flowers. And finally, all that's left to do is to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. For that, I did use foam tape. 
and here is my finished card using the Glimmer Kit of the Month by Spellbinders. Just like always, you will find the link of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area. Thank you all so much for joining me today, don't forget to leave me a comment and to like the video, and I'll see you all next time.